the 34th ordinary session of the African Union Assembly was largely virtual thanks to COVID-19 pandemic that has paralyzed movement across the world. President Paul Kagame on Saturday joined other African leaders for this very African Union Assembly where he presented a report on the institutional reform of the African Union. We have come a long way, including on the most complex elements, such as the merit-based and the transparent selection of the Commission leadership. There has also been good progress on the sustainable financing of the Union and the Peace Fund, though our program budget is still too dependent on external funding. This momentum has helped to deliver historic achievements such as the continental free trade area. I commend Chairperson Musafaki and the Commission for the exemplary work over the past four years, not forgetting the indispensable support of the PRC and Executive Council. The head of state also presented an update on domestic health financing. President Kagame noted that without strong national health systems in every country, the African continent will remain vulnerable to pandemics such as COVID-19. Excellencies, I would like to take this opportunity to emphasize the importance of our domestic health financing agenda, particularly in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. Without strong national health systems in every country, our continent will remain vulnerable to pandemics. We need to strengthen our commitment to increase domestic resource mobilization and improve health outcomes. I also urge the strengthening of African CDC to allow its autonomy and effectiveness. During the 34th ordinary session of the African Union Assembly, Rwanda's Monique Nsanzabaganwa was elected as the deputy chairperson of the African Union Commission with 42 votes from 55 member states. Nsanzabaganwa has been the deputy governor of Rwanda's central bank. During this session, South African President Cyril Ramaphosa handed over the chairmanship of the African Union to his counterpart from the Democratic Republic of Congo, President Felix Kisekedi. Meanwhile, the incumbent Musa Faki Mahamat was also re-elected as the chairperson of the African Union Commission.